Good afternoon, good evening, everyone that is viewing this moment, wherever you are from any part of the globe, I bring you greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am Pastor Dr. Daniel Oge, the Senior Pastor of Divine Purpose Motivational Ministries Incorporated. We are located in Oyogi community in Edo State of Nigeria. Uh, by the grace of God, I will be talking to you this moment on a subject, who is your friend? Who is your friend? There is a common saying from the white man that if you show me your friend, then I will tell you exactly who you are. So I want us to turn over to Psalm 55, where we'll be looking through the scripture from verse number 12 down to 16. Psalm 55, verse number 12 down to 15. And it says, For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it. Neither was it me, I mean, when, neither was it he that hated me, that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. <laughs> but it was thou, a man, my equal, my guide, and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked into the house of God in company. Let death seize upon them and let them go down quick into hell. For wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. I would like to stop there so far. By the grace of God, I am saying this to someone who may have so depended upon a friend. But at a time, you have been frustrated as a result of your dependence upon that friend. The Spirit of the Lord is impressing greatly in my spirit that someone among us here, someone that is watching in this program, it's about to be deceived. It's about to be used and financially destroyed through a so-called friend. So be careful. You might be the one that the Lord is speaking to right now. They are using that friend of yours against you because you will not refuse him if he's the one asking you to do things for him. If he's the one asking you to follow him somewhere, Certainly, they know you will not refuse him. And so I'm here to let you understand that the love of God for you is what is bringing this message to your way this day. This person here has not wanted to come even today. You will not have even love to watch this program today. But God lives, you know, and loves you. And so because God loves you, he has brought you here so that you can watch and listen to this message. God wants to deliver you from a particular trap that friends is about to put you into. If you will give your life to God now, if you will yield to be believing and obeying, the scripture told us that if thou be willing and obedient, you shall eat of the good of the land. And so, I will prophetically also pray for you that as many of you that, you know, are going with wrong friends, may the Lord take you away from their directions this season so that you will be delivered from any form of traps that they are about to set. Hear this. The oracle of God for you is this. You need to take two days of fasting and prayers and then make yourself locked up indoors talk to God I don't know what you are going through and I don't know how they are going to set that trap to bring a friend your way you need to be able to talk to God so that God can help you avert this destruction that is programmed to come to you hallelujah I say hallelujah by the blood of Jesus it is very clear that even though they are from the world of principalities and powers, you will be delivered because that is the blood for which we overcame the enemy. Hallelujah. I want to quickly say here to you that this scripture that we read was a, a scripture that was about the man, David. He said, if it was an enemy, you know, it's very easy for you to escape when your enemy is making any plan. But if it is a friend 
you hardly believe a friend can do this. So because, you know, David never knew. And David said, if it was an enemy that did this to me, ah, I would have borne it. In other words, I would have disregarded it. <laughs> but it is not the enemy. It is a friend. So one day even go to church together. So one day eat together. So one day do things together. My dear, I want to let you understand this. I want to share with you a story I read from somewhere. And that story says, there were these two hunters. These two hunters, they, began, they went to hunting and they began to pursue a snake. After all efforts to hunt, many things, you know, they could not. But they now came across a snake. And so the snake began to run. When, they, when they, the snake saw that the two hunters were after his life, the snake began to run. Hello. The snake ran and met a farmer that was walking in the farm. Hello. And so the snake pleaded with the farmer. said, there are hunters that are coming after my life. Please, can you save me? And then this farmer knew, you know, having known that this snake is not, you know, a friend at all. But the snake, you know, pleaded very well. It was so much, you know, uh, touching to the farmer. You know, when someone is even at the very point of death, he can use anything to appeal. He can use anything to, you know, uh, uh, approach, you know, so that he can be able to escape that death. So that was exactly the pattern the snake, you know, followed. And so the snake pleaded, and then the farmer finally said, okay, don't worry, I'm going to save you. I'm going to help you. And what was it going to do what was he going to do if i keep this snake in the hut this hunters will still come and they will see it so he now said okay you know what i am going to open my mouth so that you enter into my stomach by the time they are out they are gone when i tap my stomach you are to come out <laughs> and so when you come out then you cannot go anywhere you want to go to and so the snake agreed. And then the man said, but don't do anything stupid. And the snake said, ah, no, I'm not going to do it. I am going to make sure I obey what you said. So the man opened his mouth and then the snake entered into the man's belly. It was not convenient anyway, but as soon as he had swallowed the snake, the hunters ran in and said, hey, hello, sir, hello. Did you see any, you know, snake running? Say, ah, snake no 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 i didn't see any snake I, I, maybe the snake went through the other direction or, or maybe it was the, the other direction i didn't see any snake so these hunters you know they now were calm so they could not see the snake anymore or not to them that the snake was inside the belly of the man and so they turned and then they walked away after about you know 10 minutes of the hunters walking away then the man now hit his stomach come out <laughs> the snake refused to come out because he found a warm place he found a place that was so comfortable so he break his first agreement there are friends like that that break their agreement with you why just because they want to endanger your life beloved there are friends when they ask you to help them do something you can't deny them but after you have done it for them become a problem for you i pray for someone this moment that you will not have such a friend in the name of jesus christ i want to say here in my language there is what we call osenico osenico because i'm an edo man osenico means a friend who is an enemy some will call it frenemies and that's exactly what such people are a friend who will just you know be to you a friend only when you have and only know when they know they can get from you by the time you are in need they say bye so we have such people that are around us a friend that is a minus instead of being a plus i want to appreciate god for your life by the grace of god i pray for such a friend that heaven will separate you from such evil people around your life in jesus name so the farmer when he discovered that the snake refused to come out you know what he did the farmer called on a particular bed that's called the heron <laughs> the 
the bed that is called the Heron is a champion in killing snake. And so the farmer called on that bed and whispered to the bed that there is snake inside me. There's a snake inside me and the snake has refused to go out. And then the bed said, okay, you know what you're going to do? Just open your mouth. And as you open your mouth, tap your stomach again. The snake will certainly come out. There is a little aroma that is in that bed that will always attract the snake. And so as the man opened his mouth and hit his stomach, and then the snake came out, but just to this very point, and the, the snake, they, I mean, they, they best said to the man, you must make sure you remain, your mouth remains open. And so as soon as the man's mouth was open, the snake was about to come, not ready to come out. So the heron saw it and took the snake on the inside of the mouth of the man and drag out the snake. That was how the snake was able to come out from the farmer's stomach. Guess what? The moment that happens, you know, the story has it that the farmer immediately grabbed the heron. <laughs> Hello? The farmer immediately did what? Grab the heron. And he said, heron, you are not going anywhere today. Say so, look at just someone who was also had been delivered by a bed. Now grabs the bed and then carry the bed straight to you know where he puts his basket and cover the bed with the basket, saying that he will kill the bed for his evening meal. Mm. Mm. There is wickedness in the world, even from a man again to who a heron the bed that helped him out. What happened after that? When the wife came in the evening just to come and prepare the evening meal for the farmer before, you know, they can go to rest for that evening because, you know, there are some farms that you have to come in four or five days. You will sleep in the farm before you go home. So in the evening, as the wife came, you know, just to come and make preparations, the wife, you know, as she was making preparation for the meal of the evening, the heron, began to cry. I was saying to the wife, your husband is the one that put me here. And how can he now use me for the evening meal? And then the woman asked, what happened? And then the, the heron now explained everything that, you know, the bed itself did for the husband to make sure that the snake came out. And lo and behold, the, whole, the, the, the snake was already dead. And now what happened? The wife looked up and looked down. The husband was far walking inside the farm. And then the wife opened the basket and let the hero fly away. Praise the living God. I don't know who is about to attack you. I don't know who is about to be used against you. But there is an escape route for you. I pray for someone as you are watching this very episode. That the Lord who is faithful. The Lord, who is a champion in rescuing people that are in trouble, the Lord will bring your rescue in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you because I know that it is only God that can deliver this very person that this message is, you know, referred to through this media. It's only God that can deliver you. And I want to quickly say here, if you know exactly by your own feeling that the Lord is speaking to you and your situation is in similarity with this what you need to do is to give your life to christ if you have not done that please do give your life to jesus and he will deliver you from any form of attack god bless you and i will be again on your way next week in this very station at the same time in jesus mighty name to represent us in your locality or in your country wherever you are you can go through the the address or the contacts that is scrolling around in the screen. And you can reach us. No matter what, the Lord is faithful and he will keep you. Thanks for watching. Please do well to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will be notified when we release a new video. Thank you.